Every year, thousands of objects approach the Sun and our planet. Although 99% of these can be explained as space debris and other man-made objects, some of them aren't so easy to explain. A recent photograph shows what looks like a giant planet close to the Sun, with users putting forward possible theories for what this object is. Some who have spent time looking through Soho images have said this isn't the first time this thing has shown up, saying that whatever it is, it's huge. UFO believers think the object could be a giant unidentified flying object, while some have theorised that is a planet. Although many disagree with this, and say that space agencies most definitely would have picked up on this. Most believers in the unknown have said that these objects are UFOs, and that every year hundreds of these crafts can be found close to the sun and the moon. One person said the following, It's hard to find out what this thing is because we don't have much to go by, but there's definitely something there. In some of the live videos you can see solar winds moving around these objects, telling us that it's hitting something and then being deflected. Perhaps it's natural, but either way it's strange. While another person said this, Although I don't believe in the majority of alleged crafts seen close to our sun, the ones that interact with solar rays are the most interesting, because they can't be explained away as things like space debris or camera anomalies. I've watched these cameras and also the cams from the International Space Station, and in my opinion the majority of these things are man-made, but this one seen close to the sun definitely isn't that. Firstly, this object is massive, and as I said it's definitely there because it's interacting with the sun's rays. I'd be interested to hear what NASA has to say. End quote. With the public having instant access to photographs from the International Space Station and the sun, there's no shortage of these objects that some say is evidence of advanced life forms. Another object that believers say has been seen close to the sun is that of a giant craft. Going on to say that whatever this thing is, we have photographs of it firing beams into the sun. Not everyone has got on board with the idea that giant UFOs are firing energy beams into the sun, but amateur researchers have said they've got photographs of this happening, and that, as of right now, NASA has failed to explain what these photographs show, with one amateur researcher saying the following, I've been looking through the SOHO images for years now, and these are some of the most interesting anomalies that you'll see. We are only describing what we see in the images, and it does look like a giant craft is firing a beam of energy into the sun. Another object that sparked the interest of believers was that of a giant UFO that had four arms. They have said that this object has been seen flying around the sun at different times of the year, and has said it can't be a planet because it's moving too quickly and it can't be a piece of space debris because it's too big. One user said the following, Isn't it interesting that NASA always replies to the photos that are easy to explain? We know that this space above our Earth is filled with debris, but they never give us an answer for some of the strange objects that have been photographed. It's like they pick and choose which ones they want to answer. End quote. Interestingly, on the SOHO website, NASA did reply to some of these claims, with them saying the following. The most common sources of UFO claims are planets. These always look very strange in Lasco images, because they're so bright that the image blooms, and the CCD pixels bleed along the readout rows. Some people try to claim that they're flying saucers, based on their appearance. I've also heard the claim that they're previously unknown Saturn-like planets, with rings around them. You can also see what I'm talking about on the Soho Hotshot page. Another one is cosmic rays. High energy particles from the solar wind and the galaxy as a whole whip around the Soho spacecraft and interact with the detectors. These produce spots and streaks on the detector ranging from a single pixel to large streaks that span a large fraction of the image. These are most evident during a solar storm, as can be seen on the Hotshot page, but are always present at some level. I know that some people have claimed they've seen spacecraft looking things that seem to be moving around, but which are obviously cosmic rays when examined by experienced observers. P. 
people see a cosmic ray at one location in one image, and then another random cosmic ray hits the nearby next image, and they claim that both have the same thing moving between frames. Sometimes you'll see a cosmic ray seem to persist in the web images for two or more frames. This is because we lose a certain percent of the data coming down from the spacecraft. In Lasco, such losses appear as square blocks in the image. The software that puts the images on the web will fill in these blocks from the lost good image, and if there's a cosmic ray in that block from the previous image, it will appear in this image as well. The thing to check for is to look for the raw data files, which are also available on the web through the Soho catalog interface. Software glitches Occasionally we'll have some problems with the software which produce the images for the web, and strange artifacts will appear in the data. These glitches are usually corrected within a few days. In fact, we've had a couple of instances of that recently. End quote. NASA ended by saying that the space agency has never captured a UFO on camera, and has always been truthful about the objects in their photographs. As of right now though, amateur researchers have said they don't think these photographs show space debris, or things like camera anomalies. The goal of many space agencies at the moment is to explore the Martian surface, and identify if there's any life currently on or underneath the planet's surface. Various Mars rovers have made discoveries that have helped us to better understand the Martian terrain, weather and overall environment, these rovers even have on board laboratories, meaning they can conduct a variety of different experiments while on the Red Planet. NASA said the following on their website The Mars 2020 Perseverance rover mission is part of NASA's Mars Exploration Program, a long term effort of robotic exploration on the Red Planet. The mission addresses high priority science goals for Mars exploration including key questions about the potential for life on Mars. Perseverance takes the next step by not only seeking signs of habitable conditions on Mars, but also searching for signs of past microbial life itself. The rover introduces a drill that can collect core samples of the most promising rocks and soils, and set them aside in a cache on the surface of Mars. A future mission could potentially return these samples to Earth, that would help scientists study these samples in laboratories, with special room size equipment that would be too large to take to Mars. End quote. Ever since the Perseverance rover was launched, though, various online users have reported seeing mysterious artifacts on the surface, with one of the most recent ones being this one. It was shared to online groups that investigate strange artifacts on the Martian surface and those who saw the image agreed that it looks like mould or mushrooms growing on the rock. Some users said that the fungus grew on the Martian surface within a few days, and said that they don't look like pieces of rock. Others carried on from this and said that for years NASA has been capturing life on Mars, but has failed to further examine these photographs. Dr. Regina Das of the Department of Microbiology School of Life Sciences in India, said that the photographs are interesting, saying the following, There are no geological or other forces on Earth which can produce sedimentary structures, by the hundreds which have mushroom shapes, stems, stalks and shed what looks like spores on the surrounding surface. In fact, 15 specimens were photographed by NASA growing out of the ground in just three days, Although Dr. Edwin Kind, a planetary geoscientist at the University of Chicago, said the following I don't know who reviewed the paper, but I would take away their license as a biologist, especially as a microbiologist. These features are well understood. They are abiotic features caused by saltation abrasion or wind erosion. Numerous examples have been inspected by rovers. They are not fungi. End quote. Dr. Vincenzo Rizzo, a National Research Council biologist, also made some interesting comments about the photographs, saying the following 
as we detail in our article, 90% of terrestrial methane is biological in origin, and seasonal fluctuations in atmospheric methane are directly correlated with plant growth and death cycles. The cyclic fluctuations in Martian methane is reflected of active biology, which is also depicted in before and after pictures of specimens photographed by NASA. Interestingly, some took this further and said that NASA need to be held accountable for not investigating these photographs. Going back in 2014, it was announced that NASA was being sued because they didn't investigate an alleged life form on the Red Planet. The original image showed what looked like a Mars rock appearing in front of the Mars rover, and when people saw it they claimed that it must have been proof of life on Mars. Mr. Joseph was one of the individuals behind the claim, and said that NASA should be investigating what appears to be alien life on Mars, but said that it's odd that NASA refuses to look into what was captured by the Martian rover. Mr. Joseph said the following about the image, It's actually a mushroom-like fungus, a composite organism consisting of colonies of bacteria, and these can be found on Earth. I want to compel and order the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and its Chief Administrator Charles Bolden to perform a public scientific and statutory duty, which is to closely photograph and thoroughly scientifically examine and investigate a biological organism, which was identified and thus discovered and photographed on Mars by NASA's rover Opportunity in January 2014 and which NASA referred to in a press release as unlike anything we've seen before. We are totally confused. Although it sounds like an odd request, NASA themselves did say that the photograph was of interest. In fact, Steve Squires reported that the origin of the artifact is a mystery, and that he and his team who further looked into it couldn't explain what it was, and were baffled by its appearance. The team did say though that it's likely not a rock, but that it could be something like a meteorite. Another idea was that this could just be a rock that was flimmed. Online users though don't buy into this idea, and have asked NASA to conduct further research around the area to determine what the object is. As of right now, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration have said that these photographs don't show life and that they have examined some of these alleged artifacts further and no life was present. Again though, some have criticised the space agency and said that some of these discoveries have been left, and that they're only brought to light when amateur researchers happen to find them in NASA's Mars Library. NASA officials have also said that people should only listen to them and their scientists when it comes to Mars discoveries, saying that they're the ones who know about what's going on in and around Mars, and that anyone telling you that there's life on Mars is wrong, and that these claims are not backed up with scientific evidence. So what do you make of these interesting photographs? Do you think they show signs of life on Mars, or are they just Mars rocks? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.